Exercise 1, Word 2007 Environment Review from the Word 2007 Core Preparation Guide brought to you by Shift Key Solutions. Let's get started. At the top of our screen we have the title bar. The title bar displays the name of the open file and the program. Next we have the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar is where most common actions are saved. Next, we have the Office button. The Office button displays a list of commands related to things you can do with a Word file, such as opening, saving, printing, or sharing. Next, we have the ribbon. The ribbon appears at the top of our screen and consists of three main elements. The ribbon tabs here at the top, home tab, insert tab, page layout, and so on. Secondly, it consists of groups, clipboard group, font group, paragraph group, and so on. You'll notice that each tab has a series of groups. Within these groups, it's notable to mention that some of these groups will have a small icon here in the bottom right corner of the group. This icon is called the dialog box launcher for that group. For example, this is the font group and this is the font dialog box launcher. If we go to the insert tab you notice that not all groups will have this. As we continue you will notice that there is no ruler displayed. Here is where the horizontal ruler would appear and over here is where the vertical ruler would appear. In order to turn these rulers on or display them we come over to this little button here called View Ruler. If I click this, my rulers will display. If I click it again, they'll turn off. With my rulers displayed, I'll now be able to see my tab selector. My tab selector allows me to click through to select different tabs that I can then apply to my ruler which affects my work area. The blinking icon on my page is called the insertion point. The insertion point indicates where text will appear as I type. At the bottom I have a status bar. My status bar gives me general information about my document such as number of words in my document or number of pages on the right side of my status bar I have my views available. Right now we are in print layout. We also have available the full screen reading view, web layout view, outline view, and draft view. To the right of the views we have our zoom level button. At the moment I am at 169 percent zoom. If I click this I get a dialog box that gives me some options to choose from. These are standard options. If I click on my 100 percent and click OK, it'll take me to 100%. If I come back to this and say page width and click OK, it'll zoom me into my page width automatically. To the right of my zoom level button, I have my zoom bar. From here I can click my zoom tab, click and drag to the left, zoom out, click and drag to the right, and zoom in. To the right of this I have my vertical scroll bar. The gray bar right here is called the scroll box. And just to finish this off, as a reminder, the button up here is called my view ruler. Again, if I click this, it turns them off. Click it again, it turns it back on. Thanks for joining me. That concludes exercise one. Next will be exercise two. Create a new document and enter text.